Japanese Chin The Japanese chin is usually cat-alike, it likes climbing, washing itself and even batting at objects. In spite of this weakness for such feline traits, the breed is famous to be a member of Japanese and Chinese imperial courts in the past. The Japanese Chin is a quiet, independent and robust companion dog. The Japanese Chin was developed in Japan in the Middle Ages, after crossing the Chin breed with small Spaniel dogs, like the King Charles Spaniel or the Tibetan Spaniel. First breed members traveled to Europe in the beginning of the 17th century with Portuguese sailors who presented the Japanese Chin to Princess Catherine of Braganza. Later, in 1853 the American warship brought from Japan a pair of chins to Queen Victoria. In the Chinese language Chin means a separate being, not a dog, Inyo. The breed is also called the Japanese Spaniel. The Japanese Chin was developed as a companion dog, serving mostly as a gift to foreigners or nobility, who somehow rendered service to Japan. Finally, in 1977 the breed got its official recognition by the American Kennel Club. And now, living in the modern world, the Chin brings much joy to its masters, still playing the role of a valuable gift to every dog lover. Some people acquire more than one representative of the Japanese Chin breed, and this fact again underlines the popularity of the latter. The Japanese Chin is a sweet dog that possesses nice character traits like charm, affection, and devotion. This breed can be a good guardian that is always reserved and barky with guests or strangers. Japanese Chin is a very gentle and sensitive breed that will adapt its personality to its family. So in a quiet atmosphere your dog will also be quiet and reserved. But in an active family this dog will be playful and energetic. If you have the Chin at home, you'll receive evidence that he's perfect for life in your family and gets along well with children. Just make sure, your kids treat the pet well, don't offend it or hurt. Only in that case, you'll see the dog to be really kind and understanding towards you, feeling sad when you're not at home for a long time. As a matter of fact, the breed doesn't bark much and it's very friendly and tolerant with other pets and animals, even cats. The Japanese chin is not really difficult to groom. You need to brush your pet's coat daily for at least few minutes. Bathing once a month is enough for the breed, but if you want to keep the dog fresh, just use a little of dry shampoo. Besides, you have to check and clean eyes and ears of your chin regularly. Trim its nails every 1-2 months and 2-3 times a week brush the teeth. Yes, beauty requires sacrifice. The Japanese Chin is an intelligent and well-mannered breed therefore it's quite trainable and learns quickly. Your dog will be able to learn and perform tricks. To achieve success in training, remember, that it should be interesting and entertaining. You shouldn't be too firm your strict voice will be enough to suppress the mind the dog and make your pet get the message. Besides, begin socialization and training from the very start. The Japanese Chin doesn't require a great amount of exercise. Don't be lazy and walk your dog daily, letting it enjoy freedom. It would be nice, if you have a yard, where your pet could play. All these little things make the Japanese Chin happy. This breed will feel great in an apartment and is able to adapt to various living conditions, but living in a yard is definitely not a choice for the Japanese Chin.